Hello everyone, my name is S. Comic Baker, and we're back with another Gaumon tablet review for this video. This time, it's bigger and has got way more buttons. But is bigger better? Let's find out. <laughs> So Gaumon recently reached out to me again asking if I would review another tablet. This time, one of their larger ones, the Gaumon PD-156 Pro. Last time I tried out their smaller PD-1161 tablet, and one of the few issues I had with it was just the size is a little bit too small. So when they asked me if I wanted to try one of the larger ones, I was very excited to see how it would perform. So without further ado, let's get into this tablet. The Gaumon PD-156 Pro is 15.6 inches, with nine express keys and comes with all kinds of goodies. But this time, it also comes with a bonus sleeve that you can put your tablet into with a magnetic clasp in the orange part. I honestly didn't use it after I took it out though. Considering this tablet needs to be plugged into my computer to work, I don't plan on ever traveling with it. But if you do travel and need to take your stuff with you, then this might be an extra bonus to protect the tablet. Then underneath the sleeve, you get all the fixins inside of the box. You get your screen, which is pretty lightweight considering how big it is, the pen stand, which is a little lightweight like all the Gaumon pen stands, but it works just like you would expect with nibs inside and that super neat little hole in the bottom that helps you to change out the nibs. Then there's the main plug to hook it all up, a stand, and let me just say thank goodness for the stand. The last tablet that I reviewed from them didn't come with one and considering how big this one is, it definitely needs a stand. I can't even imagine you wanting to use this one on your lap, so I would have to have it with the stand, but it's got a couple different heights that you can adjust it to, which is really nice. The only issue is you are limited to the heights that they have set for you already. Sometimes I felt like I had to take the tablet off of the stand in order to adjust it so I could see what I was doing. And there were plenty of times where I was pulling the tablet closer to me where it kind of slipped off the stand. So make sure that you're super careful. Then of course you get your fancy hand pants because it ain't no party without a hand pants party. You get a little screen cleaner with the Gaumon logo on it. A booklet that helps you set everything up. The pen that is super lightweight but feels pretty good in your hands, and of course, lastly, all the plugs you need to make the magic happen. So already, with the bigger tablet, you are getting a lot more than some of the smaller tablets that you might find from Gaumon. But let's take all of our goodies now and set it all up. At first, I had a mini heart attack because I thought that there was a scratch on the screen, but luckily it was just the peely film that it comes with to protect the screen. But anyway, Setup was pretty simple, just like last time. You plug everything into the right spots you would need to on your computer and into the power source, and then you press the button on the right side until it turns green so that way you know it's on. And it's alive! It works much like other monitor screens at first, where you just have it like a second screen. It recommends that you uninstall any other drivers before you run the drivers for this particular tablet, so keep that in mind. The tablet that I was using was pretty large too, so the size of this one felt really nice with my other monitor and didn't take up too much space and didn't make me feel cramped at all. I will say that something I didn't like about the cable setup is that the plug that goes into the side of the tablet hugs the side of it. I don't like bending wires to fit my will for fear of wiggling anything important inside the tablet, but I was having a hard time figuring out how to access my mouse underneath the wires. I tend to pull my tablet close to me when I draw, so pushing it back to have better access to the mouse wasn't really an option for me. But in the end, I did end up bringing my mouse forward where I wouldn't normally use it. It wasn't a big inconvenience or anything, but it was definitely worth mentioning. But after everything was all set up, I was actually initially a little bit worried. The quality of the screen seemed a bit off with some of the images, like things looked blurry or pixelated. So make sure that you have all of your settings done first. Make sure that your computer is recognizing which screen you want for it to be drawing on and adjust your size settings. I initially had everything at 150% sizing for some reason on this particular monitor, and I had to adjust it so everything didn't look so huge. They were all really simple fixes, but it did make me feel like I had a little bit more to set up than the previous Gaumon tablet that I used. Of course, then you don't really have to worry about anything after you set all of it up. So let's get into setting up our shortcuts and finally start drawing. So <laughs> don't be a dumb dumb like me and make sure that you download the right server for your tablet. Just go to the Gaumon website or the little website link that they have in the instruction manual. Select the settings that meet your needs, such 
such as the type of tablet, then you select driver, and then also what kind of computer you're running it on. Download and unzip the file and install. Afterwards, you can do all the fancy things like adjusting the pressure sensitivity and changing your hotkeys based on what your preferences are, and voila, you are ready to go. So for the drawing I worked on in this video, just like last time, I decided to draw one of my channel members' OCs. This time, it is MSU, or they also go by Poon's OC named Jensen. Jensen is an absolutely adorable red-headed cinnamon bun, and I really love having the opportunity to draw your characters for stuff like this. So I decided to draw just a little bust portrait of her to try out drawing on the PD-156 Pro. Drawing on the screen feels really smooth and lovely. There's a little bit of latency and lag when it comes to drawing, but it didn't really hinder me during the initial sketching phase. And unless you're trying to go at supersonic speed and go really, really fast, it wouldn't really be an issue when lining or coloring either. The pressure sensitivity was also very, very sensitive at first, so I did have to go back a couple times to adjust it every now and again, until I had something that was a little bit more workable. Also, the pen did squeak for me sometimes when I had it where the button was in an upright position, but it wasn't all the time, so I don't know if that was the pen or the contact with the pen on the screen, but I actually didn't notice it at all until I looked at my footage afterwards because I had headphones on. But overall, this tablet already covers one of the biggest issues I had with the previous tablet, which was the fact that the screen is bigger, which of course was nothing wrong with how the tablet performed, it was just a personal preference. I think I just prefer drawing larger, and already I'm enjoying the size immensely. I will say that the tone of the screen is warmer than my main monitor, but I think you can adjust the screen in the settings by holding the bottom express key until it lights up. This of course is important if you're working for a client and you truly need to see specific color, but it's not entirely noticeable or a hindrance to the tablet performance. So would I recommend this tablet? I would actually say yes. I would recommend this tablet to intermediate artists or artists who are upgrading from a smaller tablet for sure. Some people who work in a more professional industry setting might find more technical things here that they would want improvements on, but once again, for a basic girl who makes basic art, I believe that this tablet gets the job done and is at a decent price too. The price of the Gaumon PD-156 Pro is usually $399.99, but from December 21st to December 31st, 2020, you can get a 20% discount if you purchase during during that period, making the tablet $319.99. With all that you get for this price, I think this tablet is definitely worth it. During the making of this video, I streamed with this tablet and also made my style swap video with it, and it's held up pretty well. I plan to keep using this tablet for a while to see if I want to continue having it swapped with the previous tablet I was using, and so far so good. I think this is a great tablet for the price and I would definitely recommend it. It's light, large, has lots of express keys, is much more affordable than other companies and felt really nice to draw on. If you have any other questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below and I'll answer them as best I can. I will leave all the links that you need if you're interested in taking a look at this tablet in the description as well. Thank you Gaumon so much for sending me this tablet. Being able to take a look at things like this gives me more knowledge as an artist to share with you guys. That way when people ask me what I would recommend, I actually have an answer for it. But that's it for this extra video this week guys, and I hope that this video gave you some useful information if you're looking for a tablet for yourself. As always, thank you so much to my amazing channel members and to people like you who like, comment on, and share my videos. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope that we can draw together again soon. Bye guys.